Yes. Hi, this is Michelle. I am at the ICASI conference in Tucson, Arizona. And right now I'm with Hoi Ming, and he is an assistant professor at Columbia University. And he's going to talk to us about hybrid solar roofing panels. In this project, we're basically designing and developing a multifunctional solar roofing panel. As for traditional solar roofing panel, you can say like this. I took it from New York uh, downtown. Uh, typically, yeah, we have uh, some more structural problems about like uh, wind, water, or maintenance of the problems. Another big thing is uh, the efficiency could be not good because uh, the for silicon uh, PV cells, they typically only use uh, part of uh, solar energy. Or most uh, infrared solar irradiation or get a waste. Actually, not a simple waste. It uh, cook uh, your roof materials to a higher temperature. With the temperature increase, your energy and efficiency will decrease significantly too. So people even use a um, uh, water system to get a higher efficiency. So, however, the water just has no quality energy. So our our design is based on that. And for the surface material, still will be for the biotech sales. Underneath, we have a graded material. The material gradually changes from uh, like a metal rich material to polymer material. With the inside, we put the water tubes because the real uh, metal rich material has much better thermal conductivity. So the heat will easily transfer into water and blocked by the polymer material. That means all the solar heat will be collected by water. Then you get a good thermal comfort for the indoor air. Then you also get a better EV efficiency. You can also control the thermal stress in the roof materials. So that's a kind of uh, good thing for energy utilization and save your air conditioning. You also get a, a structural sensing and lightweight material. This is a building integrated material. So you can minimize material redundancy. Then you can use uh, some new solar panel technology in this uh, design. Then you can get a good one. Then we test, we made our prototype and test in our same room. Then we do some more theoretical uh, analysis, predict the upper limit of the efficiency. You will find that if we do not use uh, GE or thermal electric uh, module, the upper limit will be 30% for electricity. The best energy can be used by water. And for this, uh, we consider our kind of uh, we can reach 40% of uh, efficiency. That's our current uh, measurement. With um, in a uh, solar irradiation increase, you will find the efficiency will drop significantly for traditional cells. But for our current design, we get much better efficiency. However, for this one, because our thermal electric cells only produce uh, about 1% of uh, efficiency, we didn't get a good performance. And for our future research, we are developing a, a nano uh, technology for thermal electric cells. Hopefully, we can much increase um, the efficiency. Then we can get a much better performance. We also do a um, long-term performance uh, of uh, the roof material. We are building a multifunctional uh, chamber. We can produce all kinds of weather in our land. We can even produce an accelerated aging environment. So that we can maybe use uh, one week or one month to get the performance of 30 years. So that's our uh, research. Our goal, we truly want to get like a net zero energy house in the future.
Yeah, that, this research is uh, sponsored by NSF, uh, also TOE, and also New York State. Thank you.